this is one of the most popular trails at Lake Catherine. It leads to the waterfall. And as you can see, there's a lot of people here. Well, we are back where we left off on part one video at the trailhead we want to go to see the falls and we'll return another day to uh, do the other two trails that are at this area but before we get on the trail let me just give a brief history about Lake Catherine Lake Catherine become a state park in 1935 it was developed by the Civilian Conservation Corps Evidence of the CCC days can still be seen in the park today. A nature cabin located near the swimming beach houses exhibits which relate to the culture history of the park and its natural environment. It is open Memorial Day weekend through Labor Day. During the summer months, the park interpreters offer guided hikes, scenic lake cruises, nature talks, demonstrations, plus slide shows and movies at the park's outdoor amphitheater, which is right across from this trailhead. Special programs including wildflower walks, fall foliage tours, and eagle awareness activities are held on weekends seasonally. Groups can request special programs to meet specific interests year-round. Groups are requested to schedule tours in advance. Now the trails, there are actually four trails in this park. There's Slugger Creek Nature Trail, ADA, Falls Branch, Horseshoe Mountain, and Dam Mountain. Ranging in length from 5 8 miles to 4 miles, offer visitors a closer look at the rugged Washita Mountains. There is a brochure describing these trails and interpretive programs available at the visitor center at the nature and the nature cabin. Be sure to pick one of those up because there'll be a lot of information about these trails. Now Falls Branch Trail is the trail that we're we're going to take. It is the shortest and the easiest of the park's trails. It's uh, two miles long and takes about one and a half hours of travel depending on how long you stop to admire the beauty on this trail. It is a loop trail and it begins and ends at the trailhead near the amphitheater. The park's other two trails branch off from this trail. Now, we went to the right. We stayed right on Falls Branch Trail but if you wanted an easier route, if, because I, I believe from, if you go right all the way to the falls, it's a little more uh, rough terrain that way. So if you turn left and take the trail to the left and go to the falls, it's going to be an easier uh, trail for you. It's not going to be as rough. There's not going to be as uh, much uh, elevation change. So, uh, and it's quicker to get to the falls that way. So if you're just wanting to see the falls, I recommend you take a left and go around the trail that way uh, to the falls. And then you can just turn around and come back. Because if you go right, it is a little rougher. Uh, there are bridges, several bridges you have to go over. And uh, also, if you go left, the first thing you're going to come to will be the swinging bridge. Uh, and then after the swinging bridge, you'll continue on the trail, and then you'll see the falls. But that's just a, a, a little advice if you're not able to, uh, you know, do the rougher terrain. Did I get to make Facebook? YouTube. Oh, YouTube, yeah. Say hi to YouTube. <laughs> Outdoors for adventure if you want to see yourself. <laughs> but anyway, we did go right and we hiked the whole trail all the way around. And if you'll notice, 
in this part of the videos uh, that we're going to call part two and uh, Falls Branch Trail, you'll see some stakes and they're numbered one, two, and three. And if you pick up the brochure, the brochure is going to tell you what those stakes are talking about as you walk the trails. Now, I'll go ahead and put the information in this video. The first stake, we'll call it stop one. They call it the valley. This is relative, this relatively level area was created by weather and time. During rainstorms, rock debris has been washed down the valley from the ridges. Here it is combined with the moist organic matter of the valley, forming layers of rich soil. Through time, the rain slowly washes the soil into Little Canyon Creek and finally into the lake. And then you go on up a little further and you'll see Stop 2 or Stake 2. And it's the fern garden. And I point out some of the ferns in the side of the hill when we reach that area. And there's three types of fern that have made their homes in this rich shaded area. The Christmas ferns, which are dark green. The American maidenhair ferns are U-shaped. And the broadleaf ferns with pinkish stems are lady ferns. You can look for other floors such as the five petal white spring beauty and clover like leaf violet wood sorrel. Then you're going to come to stop three. This is the forest disaster. These fallen trees were blown down during several snow, ice, and wind storms, the most recent in the spring of 2009, and it brought heavy winds and the possible tornado. But even the loss of living trees has a purpose in the forest. As trees decay, organic matter and nutrients are added to the soil, giving the new trees and vegetation a better chance for survival in the future. Down trees are also provide a home for many forest animals. Now I believe stake three or stop three will be the last part of this video because we uh, stopped at a bench and I'm not sure that it was the halfway mark but for this video time I figured that this would be a good stopping point so we're going to stop at this bench and sit down and rest a little bit and after this bench we're going to start climbing the elevation and uh, we're going to have some spectacular views uh, more creek and little waterfalls as we make our way to the big waterfall. Stop recording and pick back up up the trail. Okay, I found something unique on the trail that I had to show y'all. <laughs> just saw what you saw. Crazy. Some type of weird berries. There's another one up here. Let's flip it over and give it a better look. There's some kids that have their mouth. crystal clear water in the creek down there. I can't get over all the trees that has fallen. Just because it's been so wet, which they look like they've been falling for quite a long time. It's a big old rock. That took some oomphs to get that out of the ground, you know it? I started recording pretty much as soon as I turned it off saying I was going to stop some more 
big root systems. But it's so pretty. It's a big old rock. Did you see these rocks on here? It's really getting beautiful up in here. All the fern growing in the hillside. Yeah, I saw that. Okay, let's go up these steps. Whoa. Yeah. mud here. The rock formations up there. If y'all look, okay, the trail goes this way, but if you look, way up there, there's people walking. So I guess we're going to end up up there, and then there you see people way back there.
Follow the red blaze trees. Follow the red blaze trees. Nice fall here. Little fall. Very wet through here. So, oh, there's steps on this side. Several bridges on this trail. Don't fall. It is very rocky. And remember, your shoes are waterproof. Or they should be. Warming up now, isn't it? Uh -huh. How did you get up there? down there. There's butterflies playing down there. Incoming message, follow the yellow blaze tree, follow the yellow blaze tree.
So we're going to stop the video here and then the next video, which we'll call part three, uh, will be from this bench all the way to the main waterfall. So I hope y'all enjoyed the video. Thank you for following us on this adventure at Lake Catherine State Park. This is just an awesome trail and we have really enjoyed ourselves. So stay tuned for part three coming soon.